Primavera Hacker in Chile are here to talk about technology, politics, and culture in Latin America, as you can see there. Um, Primavera Hacker, so in English Spring Hacker, are from University of Chile and talk about relations between politics and technology, about creativity and open knowledge, um, and teach people about appropriate, cr critical and constructive use of technology. And today they're talking to us about their topics. Thank you. Uh, well, first, uh, thanks to everyone that makes this slot possible. And sorry if my English at some point gets weird, but okay. Um, yeah, we organized with Ivan that is there. Say hello, Ivan. Yeah. Uh, this festival from, uh, it's called Primavera Hacker, the Hacker Spring. Uh, we do it in Chile, in Santiago. See, we have five versions since 2003. That is the website. Now it's like in a kind of a splash site with a little bit of information, but everything is in Spanish, so sorry. But we are planning to try to translate everything to English at some point. Yeah, uh, these are like, first is free for the public. No, no one pays to go to it because if we believe that everyone has to go. Um, uh, and the other uh, really important part of this festival is this political approach that we try to enforce. <laughs> and this political and economical uh, points that ma many times the discussion of technology gets to it and we try to really focus that we have to be really, really critical about it. These are our, these are our three main goals. Um, the first one is, of course, try to uh, foment this critical approach to, to the discussion about technology. And that means um, try to show different projects or trying to get different kind of people in, into this festival. And we are also really strict of not making uh, startups or uh, publicity for different kind of uh, tech and things like that. Um, sorry, pee -pee, pee -pee. Yeah. Ah, the second one is really important for us is trying to mix these two worlds of the social movement and the uh, technical hacker side and try to like now kiss and make beautiful things together and try to uh, put this political idea into the hacker and try to put the, this um, technical knowledge in service also to these political movements and different of different kinds. And also we do like uh, trainings and talks and stuff and try to get a lot of fun. That's of course. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is a, a little bit of pictures of the festival. This time when uh, Dimitri Kleina from the Telecommunist Collective and they make, uh, he make a, um, a really good workshop with different kind of people there. Um, this is another workshop of doing technological disobedience and stuff like that. Uh, processing workshops, of course. Yeah, um, the Primavera, Primavera Hacker 2015, whip, it's going to be the two and third of December in Santiago. We are going to make it in a, a museum, in the Contemporary Art Museum. And that's really nice. And the NGO Digital uh, Derechos Digitales, that is one of the biggest in Latin America, is also co-organizing with us this year. And we are really happy about it. And they are putting a lot of effort to the project. Um, and the focus of this of this year is trying to put this uh, no try to move people from Latin America to Chile to the festival and trying to build the community in a broader sense because we don't have many communities we have a lot of projects and things going on in ev in every country and every country is different of course but we think that we can join forces and try to build this community. Uh, from the bottom up as a 
continental kind of thing. And yeah, this is not confirmed, of course, because we are in really not in <laughs> in the best uh, economic situation now. But uh, we want to invite this kind of collectives. I am not going to explain each one, but you can take a picture and then see uh, the websites and. They all do amazing stuff. Escola Activismo from Brazil, Sin Miedo from Colombia, Haglab Cochabamba from Bolivia, and Defensa del Software Libre from Argentina, and Rancho Electronico, a really good big hackerspace in Mexico. Yeah, and that's is like our main focus this year that we have to question and rethink this Latin American context where we talk about technology and about politics and try to understand the ways that we are all using things that has colonialism inside. So we, we are trying to enforce and try to get people together to talk about that kind of stuff. Um, yes, I think that I finished. Yeah, ah, cool. that's it. Yeah. Wow, thank you, that was yeah, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, true. Wait, maybe anybody uh, has yeah. a question for you? Uh, do you have some kind of information website for us? Can we see it again? Yeah. Great. So if you uh, want to stay up to date about yeah, this. Th uh, the contact you can get, we have an uh, IRC channel in uh, OFTC. It's called Fugger or P Hugger. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, you get the joke. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, we mostly speak about the organization stuff there in Spanish, but if you are uh, want to speak in English, we can do it, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I've tried it with Google Translate, works too. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Somehow. Thank you. <laughs> ah, yeah, sorry. It's, um, it was a Cuban designer that made um, a really good research on technological disobedience of the Cubans after the USSR collapses. They got really small things to do stuff. And he made workshops trying to teach this kind of, and yeah, that is, they are trying to build a glass from, it's the classic like DIY thing. Okay, thank you very much.